Hey, what's up, guys? We're at the poker table right now, and uh, I'm gonna. My gun room's a mess. My gun room is a freaking mess, man. Look at all that stuff on my table. How the hell am I gonna clean the gun on that? I got a mess in here, guys. Uh, I have not cleaned it because uh, I don't like my wife to clean it. Only when I really don't want to clean it, I'll tell her to clean it. Um, but I, I don't. I'm just organized right now, guys. But tomorrow I have time on my hands, and I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna leave it spotless. But I just went to the range today and shot the Glock 26. I went to. I'm not gonna say break in because from the three Glocks that I have had, um, well, obviously the 23 was used. Still, um, the next Glock I buy, whatever Glock it is. Well, the next Glock I want is a Glock 19 Gen 4. That way I have uh, a little bit different of everything. A little bit of everything, you know. But that's going to be my next gun. I'm honestly pretty capable of just slapping it on my hip uh, once I get it. But this is going to be my carry model. This is going to be my little carry gun. Uh, I love the way it shot with my Glock 17 magazines. Couldn't even feel them. I tried pulling and you know it's got a little bit of play in there you know just like an AK an AK mag on a on a cheap AK it's got some some clip wobble but it didn't it didn't uh, cause the gun to malfunction in any way it ran uh, flawlessly so uh, I, I wouldn't mind carrying it like this you know even without any grip or anything on there the Pierce grips on the other hand those little suckers you see this little lip right here I'm gonna sand that down cuz it bit the crap out of me it kept biting me uh, for some reason this one more than this one Let's see if you could tell they're a little different uh, one's a little thicker than the other and the thicker one is the one that bit me more uh, so I'm gonna shave down I'm gonna shave that down uh, and hopefully uh, it takes care of that but this one here I, I ne it never bit me in any way it never you know my fingers not big enough or small enough to get into that crevice in the front to bite me so this gun shot really good with those magazines in there but I'm gonna give it a little cleaning uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna get on this video I think I could upload like 13 minutes so I'm gonna clean as much as I can you know with y'all watching me and I'm going to talk about the gun a little bit, but it's just an awesome little gun, man. I mean, this gun is, is shot really, really accurate. It shot more accurate than my Glock 17. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if I'm just getting better or, or this gun is like perfect. Everything perfect on it for it to have shot better than a bigger gun. Than my Glock 17, it, sh it shot way better. I mean, tighter groups. My Glock 17 is accurate, but guys, don't get me wrong. But this this gun is for me. It was just a little more accurate than my 17 at about 13 yards. You know, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't shoot 16 yards, but you know. You know, I'm pretty sure it'll put them in there, you know, also. This is going to be my first time cleaning it. The first time, I actually didn't clean this gun when I bought it. All I did was add uh, this M Pro 7 on the rails and on the, on the parts that were going to stick. I did not clean this gun. This is going to be the first forever cleaning. So, out of the box, you can pretty much shoot these guns. You know, I, I just like to add a little bit of oil. But, uh... I probably won't take the pin off right now. Um, I usually take the pin out. And, uh... And clean all that. But, uh... As of right now, I'm just gonna clean this. With, uh... With this, uh, ram oil. Let all that soak in there. That thing's just dripping dirty. 
But no, I'm running out. Need to get some more. I bought some patches. Uh, I bought another another couple bags of this bulk pack. And uh, <clears throat> it's just oh man, what the hell? I got the smaller ones or what? Okay. Yeah, I like I usually like the ones that are like the bigger sheet. Um, I'm just gonna wipe this down a little bit. Get my brush out. Where's my brush? My toothbrush. Yeah, but I'll clean. I'll clean the gun room tomorrow, guys. I uh, just want to get a little bit of cleaning in here. But like I said, man, this gun surprised me when when I shot it the first time. The first three or four shots, I'm not gonna lie, they were they were like almost on top of each other. I mean, they were almost kissing each other at about um, what was it, ten yards first? Because it was kind of windy where I was shooting. Uh, I had it about seven yards at first. I said, you know, seven yards is good. I turned my back and the freaking thing was already at 10 and then 12 and 13. It kept getting further and further away. Um, but it's still, it's still, you know, I was, like I said, I was supposedly um, just making sure that it functioned, but you, you can't say that about a Glock. I mean, god damn it, this thing, they keep surprising me, they keep surprising me. Um, I know. I'm not a Glock fanboy. I'm a Glock fan, like uh, somebody on YouTube was saying. You know, there's there's a difference, and you know, I, I I'm still a fan. I'm not a fanboy um, because I I like other guns for different reasons. You know, just you know different 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 types of applications. You know, just you know, you want I want to have all kinds of calibers, types, and models you know I don't believe in just one brand uh, even though I could say I could stand by I could stand behind Glock if Glock said hey uh, you know would you stand behind my product uh, hell yeah I would why because they're good they're really good guns um, so that's just a little bit of that on the on the 26 I need to get, you know, I already have kind of a lot of rounds down range on the, on the 17, you know, over a thousand easy. I stopped counting at a thousand. Um, but I'm going to start getting more rounds on this one. Because this is going to be my carry gun. And, uh, you know, this slide release that I put, this, uh, you know, man, what the hell's wrong with me? Extended slide release. Uh, it worked. It worked awesome. Uh, I shot well with it. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna upload this one first, just cause uh, couldn't really talk at the range. Uh, I could. I could. I could have. I was by myself for a long time. But this freaking guy, man. Uh, he's he's a newbie at this at the gun range. And you know, he wants to do everything by the book, and I, and you know, that's good. You know, he's on top of it, but he wouldn't leave me alone, man. He was, he was just looking at me. I said, dude, I'm gonna make a video. You mind, you know, stepping, stepping aside? And he's like, no, I gotta watch you shoot. I'm like, dude, I mean, <laughs> I wanna be talking, you know, to myself. And he's like, yeah, well, I talk to myself too, just not on video. And I was like, what? So you just talk to yourself. Well, I do that too when I'm uh, when I'm in the truck. Anyways, yeah, he wouldn't leave me alone. He just kept, you know, just staring at me. I would, and I would turn around and I would take a drink of my Dr. Pepper. I was eating some recess and I was kind of waiting for him to leave. He wouldn't leave. Well, let's just move over. Just some other guys came in. And he moved over, but when I made the video, I just I didn't want to talk too much, so you know, I couldn't really say everything I wanted to. It would seem kind of odd. If there's a lot of people, uh, I don't mind. 
because everybody's shooting guns and they got their ear protection. And it don't matter, you know. They're there, so. Um. I don't have everything I need. I have to get up. Yeah, with this ain't a cleaning video. It's just me cleaning and talking about it. Um, the video has some good stuff in it. You know, I think I shot... I think t total was 400 rounds. Total, I think. I don't, I don't, I don't keep track of my bullets that much anymore. Because um, I had, I had four magazines preloaded. Two for the Glock 17 and two for this one, which they hold 11. Um, they hold 11 rounds each. And then I had well, close to 300 inside that little bucket that I'm going to show you. I don't know, guys. It could be less. It could be more. I really didn't count them. Maybe you want to pause the video and count them yourself. But it was a lot of rounds. It was more than 200, I'll tell you that. More than 200 rounds and no issues at all. So, yeah, I'm at 12 minutes, guys. Uh, I'm going to stop it at 13. I don't know. I'm not going to be done with this. Uh, but uh, just letting you know how this Glock did. It did awesome, like all Glocks do. What I love about Glock the most is that it lets me uh, grip the gun the way I want to grip it. Not the way I should grip it because of the gun. It's, 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 a comfortable, it's comfortable for me to shoot the way I like to shoot. And that's how I like to shoot it. So, you know, this Glocks, they let me do it. Glocks, Glocks let me shoot the way I want to shoot. I like the Glock sights, man. They're, they're awesome. I'll probably upgrade them to some night sights later. And night sights aren't good for nights. They're good for dawn. Low light conditions. They're not, they're not meant for pitch black darkness. In, ca in case if you don't have a TRL uh, or something like that. If you don't have a light on your gun, then night sights are just good for, for dawn, for dusk, you know, something like that. They're not made for, for night, you know, pitch black. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video where I, I'm gonna sign out. Okay, alright, thanks guys.